Well, I have a feeling that I'm about to step right in it and stir up a huge pile of angry YouTube comments, but hang on me for a few minutes and let's get right into it. What's up everyone? It's Alex. So I've been asked several times recently about power commanders and whether or not they're really worth it to install on your motorcycle. So I wanted to have a quick discussion with you today just to kind of get into that, how I feel about it. Spoiler alert, these days I think in most cases a power commander is not worth it and is not going to be helpful to you, but let me explain. So to catch up those of you that are not familiar with it, what a power commander is, is it's a device that's been produced for a long time now that is installed on a fuel injected motorcycle to help compensate for fuel mixture issues associated with changing out a stock exhaust to a full high performance exhaust system. Obviously, if you're dealing with a carburetor motorcycle, you would not use a power commander. You would change the jetting in your carburetor and adjust your mixture accordingly. But a lot of times what you end up with with a fuel-injected motorcycle, especially like older fuel-injected motorcycles, if you change out a stock exhaust for a full high-performance exhaust system, usually you will end up changing the overall fuel mixture and airflow situation of the motorcycle. So a lot of times the motorcycle will end up running leaner than it should. There are instances where that's the opposite case, but most of the time if you change out stock exhaust to a full performance exhaust system on a fuel injected motorcycle, if you're going to have issues, it will be that the bike will run considerably lean because now you have additional airflow and you don't have additional fuel flow to compensate for that additional airflow, right? Kind of makes sense. That's just a really, really basic theory on, you know, fuel injection, fuel mixture, and changing out your exhaust. Typically, if you're doing a slip on exhaust or like a half system that's say from the cat converters back or something like that, you usually won't need it because you still have enough back pressure, not enough increased airflow to account for that. But fuel injected motorcycles, usually if you're doing a full exhaust system or a performance exhaust system, you will need to do something to your fuel tuning and your fuel mixture to compensate for that. So that's where the power commander comes in. In the old days, especially like the early to mid 2000s, I did find that power commanders were very, very common and were very useful on especially sport bikes and things of that nature that were fuel injected. Almost everybody right off the bat when they bought a sport bike back then would throw away the entire stock exhaust and put a full system on it from Two Brothers Racing or Yoshimura or Akrapovich or you know, you name it. And oftentimes on those motorcycles, the earlier fuel injection was so very specific that if you did that, your bike would run very, very lean unless you did something about it. And in those days, most of the time there wasn't a good way to reflash the motorcycle or to adjust the fuel mapping without an additional piece of hardware. So that's where the Power Commander came in. There were other products along that lines. The Power Commander was by far the most popular one back then especially. So what you would do back then is you would get your new exhaust, you would get your Power Commander, you would have it all installed, and then the Power Commander, depending on what generation, you know, Power Commander 3, Power Commander 5, etc., etc., would have different fuel mappings built into it that you could just select which one you were going to use for your exhaust to try to compensate for any fuel mixture issues that you had. The problem with that was there's a lot of different kinds of motorcycles, a lot of different kinds of exhausts, right? So only having a few different settings that you can set on the Power Commander, I don't feel like really gives you enough options as far as really fine tuning it for that motorcycle. Back then, it worked perfectly okay just for doing basic stuff. Like say you got a CBR 600 that was fuel injected, you threw a full Two Brothers or Yoshi system or something like that on it. Usually with a Power Commander, especially like a Power Commander 5 or something like that, you had enough options where you could get one that was close enough where you'd be fine but I don't think it gave you enough customization to really, really tune in the fuel mapping on the motorcycle. So now that we've covered kind of like just the basics on what a Power Commander is and what it's for, it is a device for installing on your motorcycle to help you adjust the fuel mapping to compensate for performance exhausts. I will say these days, the Power Commanders that come out with, you know, the last several years are much, much more customizable, much better tunable. They do come with good software. You can do a lot with them. However, this is what I will say now. These days, one, fuel injection is way, 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 way better than it used to be. I have found in the last few years, I've actually installed full systems on several motorcycles that actually had kind of smart, intelligent fuel mapping systems that would actually auto adjust to a certain extent. So depending on how aggressive the exhaust was, sometimes I could put a full system on, especially a, a cruiser. You know, I've had a couple Kawasaki Vulcans and things of that nature where throw an exhaust on it, even if it's a full system, the bike after about 50 miles or so would actually adjust itself to it and I really didn't have any issues with it running too lean or too rich or anything like that. Do not count on that though. Most bikes don't do that, but there are bikes out there that have kind of more intelligent fuel injection systems now that will adjust to a certain extent depending on how aggressive the exhaust is. More importantly than that, these days 
Most good quality high performance exhaust systems will actually come with software or fuel tune codes or mapping to where you can remap your motorcycle specifically for that exhaust. Like it will come with the exhaust and it will come with a specific fuel map for the model of motorcycle you're using or it will come with software that will allow a technician or you if you're good enough at it to actually plug into the motorcycle and to remap your fuel system for that exhaust. I think that's a much, much better option. If you're dealing with a motorcycle that's recent enough or has the ability to do that and you're buying a quality enough exhaust system where it comes with software, it comes with a fuel retune, I think that's a much, much better option to actually use a specific fuel tune for your motorcycle to fit the exhaust that you're using and to actually just reflash or remap your fuel system to that exhaust. A good example of that would be like when I had my Victory Highball. When I bought a high performance exhaust for it, there was also a fuel tune, fuel mapping code you could get from Victory that would allow a Victory Tech to remap your motorcycle to a high performance exhaust system. A lot of bikes out there and a lot of exhausts have that option. I would highly recommend doing that. If that's not an option for you, the next thing I would recommend is actually having a professional reflash your motorcycle for a high performance exhaust. There are a lot of places out there and a lot of people out there that can reflash an ECU and can remap your fueling customized to an exhaust system. I think that's actually still a better option than using a piece of hardware to do it because then you can get a custom tune for that exhaust for that motorcycle and get the most out of your performance exhaust. If all of that fails, if none of that is an option for you, if you are dealing with a fuel injected bike that is old enough where none of that's going to work or you're just dealing with a bike that none of those options are available for, then yes, you can get your exhaust, you can get a power commander, and with a modern power commander, you can probably adjust your motorcycle enough to avoid mechanical issues, running way too lean, way too rich, any of that kind of thing. So the question of is a power commander really worth it or not is really a loaded one. As far as the motorcycle community goes, I find that about 50% are gonna tell you that a power commander is useless, is a waste of money, damage their motorcycle, or they absolutely hate it. The other 50% are gonna swear up and down that power commander is the greatest thing ever made. It's an absolute must if you're doing a performance exhaust and you can't live without it. So it's a very, very divisive issue. I've tried to present it just as broadly as I can and objectively as possible. I typically do not deal with power commanders. I can't remember the last time I had a motorcycle that I put a power commander on. I think my 2006 CBR 600 I ended up putting a power commander on because I had to, but I think that's the last time I did one. So I don't personally use them anymore. If I'm going to switch an exhaust out, I either do a half system where I will not need to remap it, or I will get an exhaust where it either comes with some remapping software, comes with a code to remap it, or I will have someone reflash and remap my motorcycle for that exhaust. I don't deal with power commanders, but your mileage may vary to each their own. You will find plenty of people out there that will swear by it, and I'm sure I will get lots and lots of angry comments telling me I'm an idiot and power commanders are the greatest thing on the planet. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you use them? Do you not use them? Do you like power commanders? Have any of you ever had one ruin your motorcycle? I have heard stories of that. I've never seen it, but I've heard stories of that. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's have a civil discussion about it. As always, guys, have a great day. I'm Alex. Ride safe. Peace.